Today at the World Implant Expo, we have Dr. Dhruv Arora. Sir, kindly introduce yourself. Hi, I am Dr. Dhruv Arora from New Delhi. I am a prosthodontist and implantologist practicing since 12 years now. Sir, uh, what are your tips and tricks for a successful implant practice? It's a very, very, uh, you know, very important question and we are still figuring it out. But what I have learned through all the experience which I have gone in uh, through the last uh, 12 years, the first most important tip is to plan with the end in mind, right? We always, you know, the patients come to us with a complaint of having a new tooth. They do not come for my awesome surgical skills. Right? They do not come with a titanium deficiency syndrome that I put in a few titanium inserts and be done with it. So plan with the end in mind is a very important uh, basic concept. Secondly, choose your materials wisely. Right? You have so many materials with good understanding and knowledge. Uh, you can use a good implant system, good biomaterials, which is specifically indicated for that case. Another important tip is be a very good uh, listener. Communicate very well with the patient about the follow-up required. Communicate very well with the lab as to what is your thought process. Because a lot of times, you know, the cases fumble because there is no communication between the dentist and the lab. Fourthly, have a good team. Because when you are doing an implant practice, it is, a, you know, a, a team effort. You need a periodontist, you need a lab technician, you need a prosthodontist. So that everybody pulls in and gives their opinion on the case and then you execute it. There's no need to learn everything. I need to know everything, but I don't need to execute everything. Right? So you need to go in and understand what is your capability and work on that. And the last and the most important tip is, you know, always have a plan B. Because when the plan A does not function, you need to have a plan B for you. So as it is said, failures are stepping stones to success. So can you tell us a few strategies to avoid these complications? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, uh, if I talk about complications, I can keep speaking for almost four days because I have had so many of those. So people ask me, what is your success rate? And I tell it's only 80% because I've seen most of the failures working around with different implant systems. So if we talk about how to avoid complications, the first aspect remains the same. Spend time sharpening your axe. You know, do not go in and start cutting the tree with a blunt axe. So spend time, understand the concepts, make notes, make a list. And you know, to execute an implant surgery, you require five minutes. But to diagnose it, it might take five days. And that is the key to, you know, avoiding complications. Number two is don't do heroic activities, right? You have seen a lot of heroism uh, all over the social media. You know, taking out bone from here, taking out tissue from there. If you are not capable of doing that, you know, don't go into it. The third important tip for all the novice surgeons is uh, learn to say no. Right? We, in practice, we need to say no a lot of times, not only because you were not able to, uh, you know, set up that case for yourself, but also because, uh, you know, patients do not always, uh, you know, they are not very comfortable discussing the entire plan with you. So it's very important that you do not go in and dwell into these kind of complications. And uh, other than this, the only point I would say is do not leave your implant patients, right? They are the patients uh, you get married to because it comes with a lot of, uh, you know, finances involved. And these marriages cannot be divorced. So mark my words, this is very important that you need to do a regular follow-up, schedule those follow-ups uh, with your patients and keep understanding the uh, you know, the type of follow-up you require, the type of occlusion you need to check at every visit to avoid these complications. Thank you, sir. All these tips are going to be really beneficial for all the implantologists out Welcome. there. Sir, how was your experience at the World Implant Expo? So this was an amazing uh, meeting here. Uh, you know, this is the first time in the country I've seen in the past 12 years we are talking about, you know, there is a specific meeting discussing the complications the reason why we need such meetings, more of such meetings, is because, you know, we are placing thousands and thousands of implants and uh, we are, you know, going to enter a period uh, which is like a tsunami, which is like, you know, a pandemic of peri-implantitis. And there is where such uh, meetings, we have so many international speakers pulled in and they have been discussing in and out in detail. I have not seen that happening at other conferences. Major implant conferences, they you know, they have a speaker coming in for 15 minutes. And 15 minutes is what I need to introduce myself, you know, to warm up. 
and in 30 minutes at least I can, you know, uh, convey my message very clearly and all the sessions here were structured in such a way that there was probably no topic left starting from the basic implant design to the most advanced robotic surgeries and it was fantastic. The team here has worked uh, day in and out, I can see that here, I have been organizing conferences, participating, lecturing since last 10 years and I am yet to see a, uh, you know, such a wonderfully organized conference. All thanks to you guys and your team.